You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. FIFA has appointed former World Cup winning coach Jill Ellis to lead a new technical advisory group on the future of women's football. Ellis lifted the Women's World Cup with the United States in 2015 and 2019. She'll now work with various stakeholders to improve the current match calendar and build global development and competitiveness in the women's game. Ellis takes charge just months after FIFA's Congress voted to carry out a feasibility study on holding the men's and women's World Cups every two years instead of four. That proposal is going down like a lead balloon, with European governing body UEFA opposing the plans, saying they would also face resistance from the European Club Association, as well as major domestic leagues around the world. But Ellis's focus is on developing the women's game and ensuring that all women have access to the sport. This includes the Afghan women's team who fled the country when Kabul fell to the Taliban. I think that, you know, as much as we're in sport, we, we can't we never lose sight of, you know, what's what's important. And that's, uh, you know, that's the human condition. Right. And, and taking care of each other. I think, you know, we always talk about, you know, soccer or football being a family. Uh, it's a big family. But I, I think that sense of taking care of people and taking care of each other is, is critical. So, yes, that would be you know, I think that would be ideal to try and make sure that not only are, are, are people safe, but people then have an opportunity to return to something that's probably been, you know, a, a motivator, an escape, whatever that sport has been for people. Um, I think for these women, I think to have the opportunity to play again and, um, you know, and play alongside each other after, you know, after going through so much, I think would be would be an amazing, not just storyline, but it would just be an amazing outcome to see that. Ellis says future discussions will include introducing more meaningful and regular competition for women at all levels around the world, optimizing youth development structures, and improving the standards of coaching and education.